Hello everyone, it's Derek Rex here, and today we're going to be checking out Transformers Rise of the Beast Studio Series Voyager Class Ryanox. And here he is, and let's jump right into this. First off, he is included with this backdrop, so if you want to, you can just plop them in like that for a display option. So that is a option that you can do. So there is that, and here's a look at the backdrop. Very nice. And now let's get into Rhinox here. Um, they did a pretty good job on this figure, I think, as a whole. It looks really good from the front, and the back cleans up very nicely. Um, so when I did get him out of the box, I noticed that his legs weren't locked in place. So I'm just going to show this really quickly. You'll see this little um, piece right there. And it's floppy like this when it comes out of the box. So you just want to pull that back, and it hooks right over that lip. So you can see as I pull this back, you'll hear a click. Well, you can kind of hear it, but it just locks in just like that, and that locks the leg in for his robot mode. So, um, as for his articulation, he can move his head slightly like that. It is on ball joint, so you can move that a bit around. He can look that way. He can rotate his head. Um, these little spikes can't really move. His arms can go out that far, but you can move the armor pad here to have the arm go full out. He's got a bend there at the elbow, rotation there as well. He's got a full 360 at the hams. He's got a fully unimpeded rotation down here at the waist, so that's full 360. He can do the splits, very nice, as you can see there. He can kick forward, he can kick all the way back. He can bend there at the knees. He's got feet, pivot down, rockers, joint as well. Um, it's on this little hinge here. Um, nothing left or right. There's no ball joint there. It's just on hinges, mm -hmm. but looks works really well And these bits right here on a softer material um, for transformation purposes it needs to be a little bit softer But yeah, that's his articulation all done and I just say it's a very nice looking Rhinox The only bit that I think could have been done with Rhinox here is right here. Um, he does look kind of thin Right here like this area just hasn't been worked out all that well just a little bit of armor right here and they could have been a little bit of extra coverage like on the shoulder here just some extra armor to follow this in because in robot mode nothing is hindering this area at all so there could have been something put there and that would have been nice and as for rhinox accessory comes with one and that is this hammer weapon here which is very nice now unlike the box here which i'll show this really quickly you can see on the box that he's holding it down here false rhinox cannot hold it down there so we will do that so i'll take it and you can see that it's loose it's not going to hold there the only place he can hold it is right here so you push it all the way down like that like he's hammering <laughs> a nail in or something so that's not great after this i'm going to add some thickness down here so he can actually hold it right there instead so that's unfortunate um so that has been the articulation and everything on him so let's get into some comparisons now and here we have Rhinox next to two other Studio Series Rise of the Beast figures. We've got Cheetor and Optimus Prime here to see how they scale with each other. And I think, you know, they look pretty good. And being all Voyagers, you can see that there is still a little scale difference between them. So he's a really good figure. I mean, he's fun to hold and fun to mess with. He's got rotation there. I don't think I mentioned that. But it's just a really good figure. Nice and beefy and very knight-like and aesthetic. Looks really great. So now let's get him transformed into his beast mode. So here we go. So first we're going to take the back section and we're just going to open that up, revealing the big Rhinox head. We're going to pull that all out. Push these little spikes in. We're going to pull this farther out like so we're going to open the top of the head flip out that horn close that back in and then this whole segment is just going to cover over his head we're not going to do that just yet we're then going to unpeg the arms like so we're going to then come down here to the abs pull those abs away pull this whole chest bit down we're going to rotate this so that these um, little slots slip into here so first whoop we want to pull these down because these are also going to tab into these slots right there so those are going to lock in like so then this whole piece collapses and that's that then we take this whole segment lock that in place bring this down it's going to lock into there it's going to go like that and then we're going to just rotate the arms like so then we're going to open the hands rotate the hands flip it and just make sure you got to rotate it properly close the hands up rotation do the same thing over here 
just rotate the hand, close it all up, and there we go. And then we can just bring that all assembly down like so. Lock it in on that side. Like so, and then we just come to the back here, unclip those tabs that were locked in previously, just bring the legs down, and that's pretty much that for the lower section. There's a little tab you're supposed to tab this skirt into, but it kind of just went in by itself there. And then you just pull this whole segment out, bring it down, and that all will lock into place. And then these small little tabs will just sit in underneath there. And there we have Rhinox in his Rhino mode. And it's not too bad of a Rhino. Um, then we can take his weapon here and we can clip that in like so. And you can take this clip on his back to be used as either a torpedo. So these are like missiles being launched. Or you can turn it around and be have it like a turret. If you want to do that, that is weapon storage and a little weapon add-on if you want to do that. So here is Rhinox in his Rhino mode. And I think from a side view, it looks really good. Um, for his articulation here, the tail moves a bit like so. The limbs can move only that much. No elbow joints or anything. Um, hands are on a ball joint here so they can move up and down and all that. The head has this hinge here at the top so it can move like that. It has a mouth that can open and close. So that's a nice little feature. And the legs can move like so with the feet doing everything already. So that is Rhinox articulation. And again, from the side, he looks great. And he transforms really simply, but I wish there was a bit more engineering because if we turn him over here, it's a huge hollow gap. And maybe there's a way to store the weapon in here to really kind of fill that gap up, but you can't do that. Maybe there's another hinge here you could have fold and plugged it in down here to fill up this gap here. Or maybe this whole chest piece could have transformed a little bit more to kind of hinged up and filled this whole gap in because that just looks really bad from directly looking down at it like that. Um, so yeah, just a lot of empty space that could have been used to really f help this gut kind of tuck in a little better. But besides that, um, only flaw that I've really noticed with this guy. He's a pretty good looking Rhino. And just for a quick comparison, here is Rhinox next to Cheetor. So you can see how they scale together, like so. And the Cheetor definitely does have a better underside, as you can see. So, you know, besides that, I think it's a pretty good Rhino. And yeah, so that's the size comparison with the two. And so this has been a look at the Transformers Rise of the Beast Studio Series Rhinox. And I hope to see you all next one. Until a great day and goodbye, everybody.